Hello everyone and welcome to Dr. D Reviews. My name is Daniel Mouncey and today I'm going to give you guys an overview of the Takahashi Milan 250 Dalkirkum Cassegrain in particular. Uh, however, all the topics I'm going to discuss such as collimation, cool down, spider diffraction, coma, central obstruction, the light baffle, etc. apply to all the Milan series telescopes whether it's the 180, the 210, or the 300 and so forth. I've had this uh, unit for several years, it's my own personal unit. Um, I've also been using the Milan series uh, telescopes for about a dozen years or so, and I've come to like them. But basically, the reason I wanted to do this review is to help dispel some of the rumors about certain uh, aspects of the telescope that I think are sometimes maybe just not understood or misinterpreted. So I will cover each of the topics in detail uh, in different seg segments uh, and try to uh, explain what these uh, factors are and how they affect things visually. Um, you know, for example, collimation, I'm not going to go into the technical details on how to collimate the telescope. You can refer to the manual for that kind of thing. But what I want to discuss is how collimation affects the image quality of the telescope um, and what really happens based on my own personal experiences. You may hear different things on the internet, that's perfectly fine, but I'm just going to share with you what my own personal experiences are and offer my opinion. So stay tuned for part two.